Hello and welcome to another edition of MTD or the MTD Daily. Now, uh, we're joined every day by guests from the industry via Skype. Uh, today, it's the turn of Chris Weston from Goering, in fact, the managing director of the company. Uh, Chris, you've been the managing director of Goering now since uh, 2018. Uh, how's the journey been? I thought a very difficult one. Um, it's been very interesting, hasn't it, with Brexit and now with what's going on with the coronavirus. It's, uh, it's been interesting times. It is interesting times. Uh, you yourself have actually had uh, COVID-19, I believe. Yes, I, I, I caught it. Um, I went skiing with some friends in March and, and came home with symptoms. So I self-isolated and, and spent probably seven days actually tucked up in bed, feeling very poorly for myself, struggling to breathe. And, uh, uh, fully recovered now, though, uh, and, and back in action as we see. Uh, Goring UK moved into your new uh, premises uh, in Birmingham not so long ago. Um, what's happening at the business at the moment? How, how are you coping? Okay, we're, we're, we're probably down to skeleton staff on the production side of the business. We've uh, furloughed quite a number of the, the, the engineers and the um, internal staff. But the, the warehouses and the um, standard side of the business is, is still up and running at, at full steam, really. Um, what was the split, uh, Chris, with standard to uh, to bespoke product at Goering in the UK? Um, it, it, historically, it's always been um, a, a more standard business than special business, but it's been getting closer and closer year on year. So th this year we were probably looking at about 50-50. Yeah, I mean, uh, having looked around your facility, it really is a, a, rem a remarkable uh, place that you have there. You've got some fantastic technology making product, haven't you? Uh, yes. A very clean uh, shop as well, isn't it? Yes, we w obviously with the, the coronavirus, we've gone even deeper cleaning, you know, and we're, we're trying to do all the, the, the proper self distancing and doing everything correctly. Um, it, it's, it's a lovely facility. You know, it, it was two years ago, Easter, we moved in and um, it, it's just been a real godsend for us to, to, to work in such a nice environment. No, it is, it is fantastic. I can recommend anybody uh, to go to the facility at Goering. In fact, you're not too far. Well, just don't go on a Saturday when Aston Villa are playing at home because um, uh, it, it, traffic is a bit busy. Um, and obviously that won't even be happening at the moment. Um, how's business in general, though, Chris, for, for Goering in these, in these troublesome times? Um, it, it's obviously quiet. The um, the larger of our um, uh, direct customers, the the big automotives and the aerospace companies, are tend to be shut at the moment. So there's there's nothing coming in or, or out for them. Um, so really, it's the, the the standard side of the business that's that's keeping us open. And, and there is a good mix for you. I mean, you, you've got a, uh, you know, a fabulous product range, an extensive product range. It enables you to service um, some of those smaller industrial businesses that are still in operation, though, doesn't it, as well, even if the bigger ones are closed? Yes, absolutely. I mean, the beauty is we, we hold it here on the shelf as well. You know, we, we've always held about four million. And, and last year with Brexit, we added an extra million, which is still out there. So it, it's there's a, a huge range and and if somebody comes on for an item and we don't actually have it here we've nearly always got something that's either very very similar or or will do the job and and as, as a company how's how's the current uh, let, let's look outside of the the coronavirus as well um industry in general the automotive sector uh obviously in in germany is is down a bit how are things over there for the you know within the group yeah, it's, it's, it's obviously, again, it's trying times for them there and for us as well. We, um, we tend to be slightly more into the automotive side of the business than the aerospace. But that, that's something that we're all trying to change. You know, there, there's, there's lots of markets out there mm. and, and we just need to sort of get into those as uh well. Um, and let's talk about product as well, Chris. Is there anything new? Um, obviously, we, we have Mac that's now been postponed to next year. Was there anything that you were showcasing uh, at, the, at the show uh, that engineers should know about that are watching this today? Yeah, I, I mean, there, there, there was a, a number of items we were bringing out. There was um, a, a drill thread mill. Um, there, there was a, a new range of tapping, Pinex, which, which is multi-purpose. There, there's, there's a drill range. There, there was quite a few things that we were going to launch at Mac, which um, obviously will we'll drip feed into the market, if you like. 
Well, we are doing a, a Mac 2020 show. Obviously, the show has been postponed till 2021, and I'm sure, I believe Joe is going to be talking to Dave about um, some of those products. Uh, with with tool-in sales, Chris, do you think anything will change as a result of what's going on at the moment? I mean, you're obviously operating yourself from the office at the moment, but like you said, there's very few people there. Uh, communication methods like this, maybe looking at how your customers are using your products via, you know, again, uh, communication methods like this. Do you think they're, there's opportunities within it and things that could change? Yes, I, I certainly do. I, I mean, some of our sales engineers have already started through Skype and, and similar sort of media to, to do some training with engineers around the country. So it, it, it's ideal. It's always great to get people here so they can have some training and actually see the facility. But it, it, it's also as good to get them, you know, across the, the social media and, and be able to talk to them that way. I always I find sales engineers spend a lot of time traveling around engineering companies looking at processes and how they're making parts and how they can improve them. I do think that coming out of this there is that there is that opportunity to be able to maybe do some of those uh, you know a few things um, remotely. Uh, once we come out of uh, of this situation which we will Chris which we will um, what what does Ger what's going to happen with Goering over the over the next 6 months would you say? I I mean I I just hope that we um return to the sort of levels we were at before this and 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 surpass it you know we've again back to the fact that we stock so much here in the uk it, it's it's not available next day it's available same day if people need it and in in these current times we've still got customers that, that ring us up place an order and and literally drive here to collect it mm. So that is uh, still possible. It's great to see that you're, you're still open for business, Chris, and supporting uh, industry across all sectors. Um, and I'm obviously very glad that you're better as well. And it's, um, you know, uh, it's a shame to hear that you had the, uh, the COVID um, virus, but I assume now that means hopefully you're immune and obviously you're better, which is also good to, uh, good to see. Thanks for joining us today, Chris, and no doubt we'll catch up soon uh, and see you in Birmingham at some point soon. Thank you. Uh, so there you have it, Chris uh, Weston, Managing Director of uh, Goering here in the UK, a business still very much open to business, carrying stock. Uh, and of course, they do both standard and bespoke product. You can find out more about what they offer on their website. That's it for me uh, here today at the MTD Studios. Join me again same time tomorrow.